I guess that's all locked up tight now, as it should be. Uh, hi there, Jody. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, everything's all safe down here. Let's go upstairs. Can you hand with him? Is it too heavy? No, no, I can manage fine. <laughs> well, we're on our way to the children's department once again. Customers have all gone home now. Hocus, hocus, Alan, it's a glass show. It's for everyone. Today's special. Come join in the fun. With magic everywhere A world for us to share And friendly faces hoping that you want to meet us there For today's special It's about to appear, it's about to appear Today's special Shout it loud and clear Today's special Today's special is brushes. Jeff, I'm back. Sam found the paint and the brushes that we need. Hello, Jeff? Here, Jody. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was just back there cleaning up with my brush, you know, like you showed me. Gee, you did a good job. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm really glad you're helping me. It's nice having help when there's work to do. Mm -hmm. oh, gosh. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, I'm going to drop my brush in a minute. I think somebody's coming. Oh. No, I, I know who that is. No flying flatfish. Do you? Oh, clear, clear the track, everyone. Oh, here That's I come. Sam, all right. Now, careful now. I'm gonna bring this up. Oh, oh. oh. Let me help you. Goodness. Oh, clattering clams. Oh, well, there's all the brushes and the cleaning supplies you wanted, Jody. Sorry it took me so long, but I had to lock up the locker afterwards. Oh, that's okay, Sam. Gee, thanks a lot. No, oh. don't mention it. I was pleased to help. You know, there must have been a lot of people in the store. This is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> From the looks of things, Jody, you must have had quite a day. Oh, we did. Everything in the whole store was on sale. This was the biggest yeah. sale that we've ever had. <laughs> now Jeff and I have to clean up. I just hope we can get it all clean before the store opens tomorrow. Oh, don't worry, Jody. We can do it. I'm a good helper. <laughs> I know, Jeff. You're the best helper anybody ever had. Thanks. <laughs> well, I'd like to stay and help you, Jody, but, well, I got some cleaning up of my own to do back in the computer room, and, hey, as a matter of fact, this is just the thing I need here. Yep, this dust brush here will just make me get everything shiny in no time at all. <laughs> oh, dust and paint, scrub and shine. You have a brush and I have mine. Hi there, Muffy. What are you up to? I'm cleaning my house from bottom to top with brushes and pail and rags and a mop. Mm. I wish I could visit, but I really can't stop. So I'll borrow some soap, and then back I must pop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's some soap. Mm. There you go, Muffy. Thanks. And when my work is finally done, I'll come back to have some fun. Bye. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you, <laughs> Well, I guess we'd all better get to work if we're going to get this cleaned up tonight. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Well, in so long for now. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Sam. Come on, just brush. Get some work <laughs> okay, now, where do we start? Oh, well, I think I'll take a paintbrush and I'll start on that display rack over there. Why don't you take your brush and work on the bookcases? Okay. I like brushing. You know, this is fun. I like helping out.
brush pen reach into a spot where hands could never fit. I'm glad that's something I've been taught. Now I can clean with it. And if your room's an awful mess, here's what you can do. Find a brush and then say yes when asked to help clean too. A brush for cleaning up the dust is just the thing to you. For dusting this brush is a must with it you just can't lose. Crenshaw. <laughs> and now I'd like to introduce a nursery rhyme by Mother Goose. Sweep, sweep, chimney sweep, from the bottom to the top. Sweep it all up, chimney sweep, from the bottom to the top. One of these things is not a brush. Do you know which one it is? How about the first one? Is it a brush? Right, it's a scrub brush. Is the next one a brush? Uh-huh, it is. A dust brush. What's the next one? A paint brush. Sure. One more. Does it look like a brush? No, it doesn't. It's not a brush, it's... A fork. Jody, this display rack looks like new. You'd never know it used to be dirty. Be careful, Jeff, it's still wet. Sorry, Jody. Oh, that's okay, Jeff. Here, wipe your fingers off on this rag and I'll just paint over the mark. That's the good thing about paint, you know, you can just paint over a mark. There. But you know what I think? What? I think we need a sign. A sign? What kind of a sign? A sign that says, wet paint. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. <laughs> hey, we could use this. Perfect. Just the right size. Now, what color do you think we should make our sign? Uh, how about green? Yeah, I love green. Okay. I'll get the green paint. Right. Jody, Jody, where's the green paint? We have a can of, of blue paint and a can of yellow paint, but we don't have any green paint. Yes, we do. We do? Sure, if you've got blue paint and yellow paint, then you can make your own green. You can? Well, how? I mean, I, I always thought green paint came from a green paint can. No. <laughs> Look, I'll show you. First, you take some yellow paint. Pour it in. And then you take some blue paint. And you add that. And now, stir it up. And see it happening? Presto! Green paint! <laughs> wow! Did you see that? Like magic! Somebody's been painting. One of these brushes has green paint on it. Let's see if we can find it. Which brush has green paint on it? Wait! We're trying to find the brush with the green paint. Bring them back, please. Is that the brush we're looking for? Does it have green paint on it? How about that one? Or that one? Do any of these brushes have green paint on them? There it is. There's the one we're looking for. That's the brush with the green paint on it. We found it. There's something that I'd like to share. To keep it secret's hardly fair. It's a useful little rhyme that's worth reciting any time. Its meaning can be plainly seen. It's Muffy's recipe for clean. Take some soap and make it bubble. It's really very little trouble. Use a brush with lots of bristle to get the floor clean as a whistle. 
For dishes, you do much the same. The brush is different, not the aim. First make some suds, quite a lot. Test the water. Ouch, it's hot. Add some cold and make it right to wash the dishes every night. Put all the dishes in the sink. Now, where's my brush? Hmm, let me think. It was here just a while ago. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, on with the show. Wipe both sides. Here's what I mean. Repeat with others until they're clean. Now, for all my dirty clothes, to get them smelling like a rose, I use a brush to scrub and scrub, and then I rinse them in the tub. I wring them out and then to dry, I hang them on a line up high. Those are my tips, and one by one, my jobs are finished, and I had fun. All right, that does it. I don't want to overdo it, you know. Yeah, I like the place to look lived in. You don't want to make it too clean, huh, Penelope? Well, that just about does it. Uh, let me put this brush away. And get out your brush, because it's time that you got a good brushing, too. <laughs> yeah, Penelope likes to be brushed. That's why I even got her own cat brush. Hey, I got an idea, Penelope. While I'm brushing you, how would you like to hear a story? Great, a story. Okay, let's see. I just got to figure out how this computer here works. I'll figure it out one of these times. Let's see now, um... Hinky-dinky-doo. I'll pick... You. That's the way, Sam. Now <laughs> you're learning. I got it right. I got it. I knew I'd figure it out. All right, here's the story. There once lived a cat with the softest, thickest, warmest, most beautiful fur coat of any cat in the whole world. Every evening, before she went to bed, and every morning after she awoke, she would brush her fur until it shone and glistened like sunlight on fresh snow. One cold, wintry morning, the cat was brushing her fur at her window when she happened to see a little bird shivering in a tree. Her feathers were all covered with frost, and icicles hung in a row from her tiny beak. Poor little bird, sighed the cat. She looked so very cold and unhappy. If only she had a coat like mine to keep her warm in winter time. A little tear fell from her eye and landed on the loose fur that had collected in her brush. Suddenly, her face lit up with a smile. I have an idea, she thought to herself. Do you know what she did? She picked up her brush and brushed and brushed and brushed, and then she brushed some more. When she was finished, she gathered all the fur she had brushed from her coat and spun it into yarn on her spinning wheel. Then do you know what she did? She knitted the yarn she had spun from her fur into a tiny coat and gave the coat to the little bird. No sooner had the little bird slipped on her new fur coat than the frost melted from her feathers and the icicles melted from her beak. Oh, thank you. Thank you, cried the little bird happily. This is the softest, thickest, warmest, most beautiful coat in the whole world. Now I will never be cold in winter time. And the little bird sang in her nest, and the cat brushed her fur for bedtime, and they both lived happily ever after. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a broom. Ah, but do you know what a broom's used for? I know, Jody. I'll show you. Right? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Jeff. A broom's not a canoe paddle. Um, okay. No, you use a shovel to dig a hole. A broom's not a shovel. Uh, okay, now don't tell me. Don't tell me. I, I know. Um, okay. Strike three, you're out! <laughs> <laughs> but no, Jeff, you can't play baseball with a broom. Oh. Well, I give up. What is a broom used for? I'll read you what it says in your What Is It book about a broom, okay? Let's see here. 
Broom. Broom. There we are. Broom. A long brush with a handle used for sweeping. Sweeping. That's right. Sweeping. Sweeping. Oh, now I remember. Sweeping. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, I, I know all about that. Uh, you mean like this. <laughs> no, Jeff. Sweeping, not sleeping. Here, I'll show you. You sweep like this. Oh, that's sweeping. Can I try it? Sure. Okay. We've got lots of work to do. You know what we should do? We should go downstairs and start in the display. And first we can wash the windows. Then we can sweep out the display. Okay, and, and when we're finished, we can come up here and I can help you finish sweeping. Oh, that'd be a great idea. Okay. We've got everything we need. Mm -hmm. Sweepers, forward, march! This is a broom. And this is a broom. Is this a broom? It's not. What is it then? <laughs> ah, hi there. He's giving these old shoes of mine a bit of a brush. I like to look nice, you know, when I'm working here at the store. It, whistling whales, look at that. There's a great big hole in my shoe. Ah, well. It's like I always say, the older the shoe, the better it fits. One, two, shine my shoe. Three, four, polish some more. Five, six, another two licks. <laughs> Muffy's not the only one around here that knows how to make up rhymes. You know, using a shoe brush to shine my shoes like this kind of reminds me of taking my car to the car wash. Here, I'll show you just what I mean. Hey, what do you say we make the car all clean and shiny in just a couple of minutes, Jody? Good idea. Well, just you watch. Great big brushes will give the car a bath. Make sure all the windows are up or we'll get a shower. Oh, yeah. Oh, the joy of adventure. Stand by. <laughs> now the fun begins. Watch for that light. When it's red, we stop. Here we go. Oh, we're like the ocean wave. A home on the roofing sea. Fun, isn't it? We're having a good time, and the car is getting cleaner. Yeah, I even like all the sails. Kind of reminds me of my days in the Merchant Marine. <laughs> oh, now the green light's on. What does that mean, Sam? That means we can move out into the great world once again. You know, I always think my car works better when it's clean. Maybe it's happy to be so shiny and new looking. It <laughs> could be. Watch out for traffic now. Oh, yes. Oh, life on the ocean way. A home on the roving sea. Okay, Penelope, you're all brushed. You can get down now. Here she goes. Now, don't go too far. <laughs> I was just... Oh, prints and pythons. Look at all the cat hair she left on me. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I got a game for you. Hey, come on over this way and watch the computer screen here. It's a join the dots game. Now, you see if you can guess what it is, and uh, I'll join up the dots for you, okay? Now, when you know the answer, you shout it out. All right, then. Here's the first one. How you doing? Here's another one. There. Got it yet? <laughs> I can guess it now, I bet. Here's another one. There. Did you guess what it is? All right, shout it out. Shout it out. That's right, it's a comb. <laughs> it's a comb, all right. When my work is finally through, can you guess what I like to do? I like to take a brush in hand and paint pictures. To me, that's grand. To paint, I wear this hat of mine. 
On me, I think it looks quite fine. Perhaps you'd like to hear me tell about this hobby I love so well. First, I find something to draw. It could be something I once saw, or even something like my pa. <laughs> I mix some colors with my brush. I never hurry. There's no rush. When at last the color's right, I hold my brush, but not too tight. I draw lines straight and others curvy. It helps if I turn topsy-turvy. Between the lines I have drawn, I brush the paint until it's gone. I then print Muffy, oh so neat. Now my masterpiece is complete. <laughs> That's that. Everything looks just about neat as a pin. <laughs> Jeff and Jody are sure going to be surprised when they see how I finished cleaning up for them. Yeah, I wonder where they are, as a matter of fact. Uh, you didn't happen to see where Jeff and Jody went, did you? Oh, well, I guess they won't be long. <laughs> Mr. and Bluefish, that sure was hard work, I can tell you that. Well, now that I've cleaned up my own nest, I'm back to help with all the rest. Ah. Well, uh, thanks for the offer, Muffy, but, well, as you can see, I'm all finished in here. There's nothing left to do. Nothing left, Sam? That's not true. There's lots of picking up to do. Oh, <laughs> this here, huh? <laughs> I guess you're right. I didn't think anybody would notice. Wouldn't be right to just leave it in a pile. We'll have to pick it up. But let's hurry, though. Jeff and Jody will be back any minute. I can hardly wait to see their faces. <laughs> oh, uh... Don't tell him that Muffy and I were in here, okay? It'll be our secret. Shh. Okay, Muff. That's it. Get the pan. All righty. <laughs> There's the last of it. Achoo! Terrific. <laughs> Which of these brushes are the same? Can you find them? Are these brushes the same? Are these brushes the same? What about these brushes? Do they look the same? They do. You're right. They are the same. You're good at this game. Sweep, 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 sweep. Sweep, 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 sweepers! Sweep. <laughs> Jody. Uh-huh. Jody, uh, it's all done. What? <laughs> well, I wonder who came in here and cleaned everything up. That's a good question. Do you know who it was? Shh. Remember now, this is our secret. Shh. <laughs> Yeah, how you there, Jody? Hi, Sam. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Hi, Sam, okay. <laughs> Whoever cleaned up did a really good job. It certainly <laughs> did. I have another surprise for you. Brushes for cleaning ourselves up, too. Hey, terrific. Look at that. Well, come on, everybody. Let's get ourselves all spruced up. Well, we might as well. Looks like we're finished here for tonight. Good. When your clothes are sprinkled with dust And looking tidy is a must You can never, ever lose If this brush is the one you choose Start with your front and brush your back Before you know it, you'll have the knack Clean up, get dirt the brush off Come on and let's hear you say your hair and it sticks up in the air a hairbrush is the perfect thing it's the kind of brush to bring 
I'd like to know more about that. But I can't cause I wear a hat. <laughs> Clean up, give dirt the brush off. Come on and let's hear you say. Clean up, give dirt the brush off. You can brush dirt clean away. I don't understand it, Jody. You know, when we left here, there was still a lot of cleaning up to do, and now it's all so neat and tidy. Something funny's going on. Somebody cleaned up in here. Here's a riddle just for you. The first clue is there were two. Oh, Muffy, you and your riddles. Okay, give us a hint. Okay. One wears bristles a tickle. That's how it goes. The other carries a brush right under his nose. <laughs> how can you carry a brush under your nose? Mm. Mm. Oh, I've got it. You do? I don't. Look, who do I look like? Uh, Sam. <laughs> okay, now feel Muffy's whiskers. Oh, they tickle. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's it. That's what you meant, Muffy. What, what, it, it's, it's Sam and Muffy. They, they were the two who cleaned up. Right, <laughs> oh, thanks, both of you. And thank you, too, Jeff. Gee, thanks for helping me tonight. I don't know what I would have done without you. Well, you wouldn't have had as much fun. That's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> 